Welcome back. Uh, I'm going to do a get ready with me and I am going to use products from my Alta haul from my last video. Uh, I have other things I'm going to use too, but those specifically I'm going to try some things out and let's just jump right in. So I already have my, I wash my face and have my moisturizer on. I use Mary Kay. I've stated that. I don't know if all my videos have stated that, but anyway, I use Mary Kay uh, as a face wash and, and my moisturizer. I am going to use Smashbox Photo Finish Vitamin Glow Primer with vitamins B, C, and E. Uh, I got this, so I'm going to put that on. And then I'm going to go in with my new butter bronzer putty primer just to fill in some of the pores. So I'm just going to put this on first and then we'll uh, let that set soak in a little bit and then I will um, use the putty primer here. So you always want to make sure you give your moisturizer time to set in. You don't want to go in right away with your primer. You don't want to go right in with your foundation. Give it a little bit to set in to soak into the skin so that it works properly. Um, we might be skipping this because apparently it's either clogged or I'm out of it. So I guess I will just jump right in with the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It Putty Primer. And, oh, coconut. I love, love, love coconut. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some of this on my face and... Um, like I said, just try to get some of these pores filled in. Uh, give this a smooth surface for the foundation to sit better. Mm, mm, this is why I love these Physicians Formula Butter products. I love that scent. Absolutely love that scent. I don't necessarily notice it uh, all day, but so far I've only used the mini butter bronzer. I didn't have any of the other products. I just got them in my alcohol, which is what I'm going to use today. So I will, um, obviously going to test them out, but also going to see how they, uh, if, if the scent sticks with me, which I would love because, oh my gosh, I love coconut. Love, love, love. I just got, uh, saw it at Target and picked it up and then saw it at the grocery store at Wise and picked some up. And now I forget what they were called, but it was barely, maybe barely chocolate coconut chips. So good. It's like cocoa powder covered coconut, dried coconut, uh, but bigger pieces, not your shredded, but chips. Um, not like potato chip size, but um, oh, so good. So good. Love that. And that's been a hit for a snack around here. Well, it's been a hit with some. We're evenly divided half and half on who loves coconut and who doesn't. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, let's see here. I'm going in with Unique Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation in Velour. I don't think they make this anymore. I think they reformulated their foundations. And so I haven't tried any of the newer stuff from them uh, as far as foundations go, but um, I still have this. I am on the hunt for a foundation that um, doesn't break the bank. I don't want something super expensive, but something that's long lasting. It doesn't have to be, like I like buildable coverage, I guess. Um, medium to buildable. I, it doesn't necessarily have to be full thick. I don't I don't want to be all caked on. I do like to take care of some of the texture, even out the skin tone. Um, just deal with what I have going on. But it doesn't have to be like super thick, full coverage. So if you have any suggestions, I am on the hunt um, to find something new since this has been reformulated. I'm pretty sure. I should check that. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't get this. But again, it's something that I'm just trying to get something a little more um, budget friendly. <laughs> I do think this is, um, pulls a little yellow, but then when I get it all blended out, it's generally not terrible. It kind of matches my neck. My face tends to look more pink. And then my neck is more yellow and I try to, 
I don't know, I usually choose like neutral um, products. Uh, I am on the lighter end in the ivories to like uh, fair, but not the, not the lightest. Sometimes I'm more on that medium light, but not, not the darkest mediums, not even the medium mediums, kind of in between on my skin color. So I have been applying my foundation with a sponge most recently. I just think that gives me the nicest coverage. I just like the way that has been looking as a finish overall. I am using a sponge from the Dollar Tree. These were $1.25. I believe this is Ioni brand. It was in with the Valentine's Day uh, display that they had. And I grabbed up a couple of them. I tried one out and really liked it. So I went back and got a couple more. Um, I don't know if they carry them regularly or not. I don't always get there, but been watching some other YouTubers and decided to check it out. And uh, they hadn't talked about the sponges, but I'm very happy I found them because I'm loving these sponges. Um, even better than my Real Technique sponge that I have. And maybe it's just the shape is different and I need a different Real Technique sponge, but for $1.25, can't beat that. All right, so we have our base, our foundation on. The next thing I always go in with is bronzer. And I was really torn today whether I wanted to use my Physician's Formula Butter Collection, uh, the palette that has some bronzers in it, or if I wanted to use, I got the whole set of the uh, Sweet, let me look and see what it was called the Butter Cheat Day collection. There was four bronzers in that. It was on sale and I had grabbed that up. So I think I am going to, well, I wanna smell them just to see because they're very sweet, kind of more vanilla, vanilla like baked goods uh, scent. So I wanna check that out and if I can figure out how to open it. <laughs> the one I have right now is Butter Cookie. Ooh. Okay, I could see that going with coconutted scented stuff. Okay, I can see that. Um, let me see if these other ones, I have buttered donut. So that does have more of a cakey, the cookie was a cookie, the cake has more of a cakey scent. I have butter coffee. Yeah, there's definitely a um, sweet coffee scent, like a sweet dessert, but that's got the coffee to it. And what do I have, butter cake. Now see, that doesn't have a heavy scent to me. Um, do I want to go with the cookie or the cake? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we'll do butter cake today. Save these others for another day. So we're going to use Physician's Formula Butter Cake Bronzer. And it has this little clip. You just push that button. It opens up. There's the bronzer, but you can see there's also a brush underneath. I'm not going to use that brush. I have a brush that I'll just use. But that's cool just for traveling, for having it all together in that little compact. That's pretty cool. All right, let me see here. I don't know if this will be a little too dark or not. The Butter Bronzer is a little, doesn't, not quite this color. I want to say it's a little more orange, but I don't have it right here. Um, the mini Butter Bronzer that I have. So let's just see, and we may end up just blend, blend, blend. Now that's showing up orange on camera, but it was more brown on the brush. So I don't know what that's showing in the mirror. I'll have to look and see. Blend that out some. Hmm. And of course I want to match. I don't know if I like that color or not. might be just a little on the orange side but we'll have to see if I blend it out here if we can make it doable 
for today. So that was one of the darker um, looking, uh, well, it was like stripes, a little bit of the darker in the compact. Just try to lighten that a little bit with some leftover foundation there. <laughs> anyway, all right. Then I'm going to try my new Physician's Formula Butter Blush in Salsi Mauve. And so this comp thing has a little button here, opens up, and there's a little brush underneath. I'm not going to use their brush. I'm gonna use my own. And let's see how this pulls. This is a little dark uh, in the compact, so we'll see what it looks like on the face. And I don't necessarily smell the coconut as much on that. Ooh, that's dark. Let me just... Dark with the bronzer, dark with the blush today. Well, let's get it to match. <laughs> oh gosh, a little heavy on the makeup today, huh? Well, hmm. Let me just look in the mirror quick. It doesn't look quite as dark in the mirror as it's pulling in the um, camera, but it's still a little dark. Yeah, yeah, okay. We don't know unless we try it. So um, I'll have to maybe, um, I've seen a tip where you put the product on your brush and then wipe some of it off before you put it on your face. But then I feel like you're wasting product. I don't know, I may have to May have to do that, may have to see. Um, once I do my setting powder, it will lighten some. Um, I use the Maybelline Lasting Fix Banana Translucent Setting Powder. So once I do that, that will lighten some. I don't always put it all over the face, sometimes just under my eyes, but I think I will um, just because of how dark that bronzer and blush uh, showed up on me, so. Okay, moving on. So we're going to, uh, let me do brows. I like to do those next, usually in my routine. So for my brows today, I'm going to be using Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara with Filling Fibers. I'm going to use that. I've used this a few times. This is an Ashy Brows. 3-in-1 Color Fill and Shape Colored Eyebrow Gel with Fibers for Naturally Fuller Looking Brows. I don't necessarily need my whole brow um, filled in. What I do need, however, is just I, I have some patches and then where I trim them, they tend to get a little, uh, I go can go a little crazy and get them a little bare in spots. So I'm just going to try to fill them in just to make them look a little bit nicer, uh, a little bit more the way they should be. <laughs> so pardon me while I go to my mirror. I find this product, uh, it is a liquid, you can feel it going on, uh, but it tends to blend in. It has a little brush and it tends to blend in. I don't like real fake looking brows and my eyebrows are thick to begin with. A lot of times I will just use a, pow a powder and a pomade on my brows, but I thought we would try something else out today. So um, just use this wand and kind of 
like I said, it just kind of gives it that filled in where I have patches um, where they're naturally thin. I'm looking for my spoolie. I had issues with this in my last video, not being able to find it. I need to get my, um, I have a, I keep my brushes in a glass jar and I need to get them a little more, maybe I need another jar <laughs> just to spread them out a little bit to be able to see what I'm looking for a little bit easier. Let me just double check in the mirror here just to see. All right. So give me a second. I just want them to look a little bit even, a little more filled in. Okay. So then the next thing that I do is usually my eyeshadow. And I'm going to be playing with two palettes today. Uh, I'm going to be playing with the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It Bronzed Nudes. And then I have Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips in Nudes. So this one is the Shimmer. This is Bronze Nudes Physician's Formula. So we're going to use those today. Just play around with them. Um, I have another new product. This is a sample that came to me. Smashbox 24-Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my eyes before I start playing around with these Physician's Formula palettes. Now this is a, it looks like a, um, uh, kind of a nude um, base. So let's just put some of that on my eye. Give it a chance to dry down a little bit. I always let my primers dry just a little bit before I go right in with whatever else I am going to be using, whether that's eye primer, face primer. Um, I like to let them dry just a little bit because I want them to settle into the skin and make sure they're going to work. I don't want them wet and then um, just like if you would prime a wall, you wouldn't paint right away. You'd let the primer dry first. So same thing. I just let it dry down a little bit before I go in with whatever I am going to be using. And my brushes, this is a Mary Kay cream eye color brush, concealer brush that I'm using for the eye primer. Uh, the other brush that I used, well, I had two of them. I had a unique brush that I used for my blush that was a limited edition thing that they don't sell. And then I use, for my bronzer, I use a Real Techniques brush. So Real Techniques by Sam and Nick buffing brush. That's what I use for my bronzer. And then, like I said, the one that I use for my blush is this unique beachfront small brush, but it was a limited thing that they had a while back. So I don't always talk about my, my brushes. Okay, so we'll give that a second. While we're waiting on that, I think I will go ahead and put my concealer on. Today I'm going to be using Tarte Ultra Creamy Shake Tape. This is their fair neutral. So we'll use that. I just put a little bit under my eyes and uh, try to color. I try to cover the discoloration a little bit, you know, the dark um, under my eyes and then just to brighten. Uh, that's kind of why I use it. Um, and then I will set that with the banana powder. Okay. And let me grab my, I use the sponge for this too. This might be really brightening with as dark as that um, blush and bronzer were. And 
then I do go up over my eye with that too. I know I already put primer on, so maybe it wasn't a need, especially when I'm testing out product. That's just habit. That's what I normally do. And uh, just habit of how I do it. So brighten a little bit. Okay. So now I'm going to move into, I'm going to play around with this bronzed nudes palette. Um, I think I'm going to start with, don't mind my dog. It's just the time of day. He's trying to tell me, mom, it's soon supper time, but he always lets me know way earlier. I think I'm going to start with that color and we'll just play around with this and see. Um, I don't want to go super crazy. Just put this all over my eye and then it's kind of a pretty, a pretty brown. I think I want to play with the shimmers in the other palette. So just put this one on and then use it to kind of buff and transition. This brush is an Ioni brush from the Dollar Tree. I went and got one of each kind that I could find to try them out because I was a little like, really? For a dollar twenty-five, is it really gonna work? For a dollar twenty-five, is it really gonna work? And uh, I loved them so much I went back and got them, but they had them around Valentine's Day for their Valentine's Day display and with that stuff. Um, and I went to another location and they didn't have any left, which was sad because I wanted to grab up a bunch of them because they're really nice. So then I'm going to go in. That was a the lighter brown in the shade. I'm going to go in with this darker brown um, here at the bottom and just darken up the outside a little bit. And I tend to kind of do the same type of look when I'm doing eyeshadow. I tend to... Um, do a transition color or a color that kind of is a base and then I'll go in with a darker color and then I tend to do a shimmer on the inside. That tends to be my go-to. I just change up what color I'm doing. That's not always the case, but that just tends to be what I do. So just FYI. <laughs> um, oh, this is, it looked, see how it kind of almost picks up like an orangish red there. Hmm, let's see what this looks like. <sighs> see what that looks like so blending and concealer are going to be your friends um always keep your color like even if you want to go up higher with it keep it low and then blend up don't put that pigment up high or you'll get clown raccoon uh eyes And you can always blend out some colors I work with better than others. I'm still learning. But blend out. And then if there's something you can't, concealer is great for that too. So I'm just blending this darker... These shades are pulling more like orangish on me. At least in the camera. Again, that could be a little different in the in the mirror if I if I were to look. Just trying to make sure I have them even. Doing it in the camera is different than doing it in the mirror. <laughs> if you've never done that, it is different. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to move on with the shimmer here, and I am going to, that's what I had, give me just a second, bear with me, and okay, have that ready, okay, so I'm going to go in with a shimmer here, there's so many pretty colors, now this one does come with this little makeup brush sponge 
type thing. This little palette has this. I'm probably not going to use that. I'm just going to use my finger. Um, but let's see here. Oh, well, there's so many, so many pretty, so many pretty colors. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go, let's try this one out. This one right here, like this one. I'm going to try that one out and see what that looks like. So I'll just, oh, oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's very pretty. I'm definitely glad I got the shimmer palette. Not sure how I feel about the other one at the moment. I will need to play with it. First impression is just not sure how I feel about the colors, but, oh, that's really pretty. Put it in the inner corner. Very pretty. Oh, love it. I kind of want something to darken up that outside edge. Um, I didn't like, I thought that darker brown would be darker and it end up being more orangey. I don't know, that was kind of an odd thing once I dip my brush in. But again, I'll play with them play with it a little bit and uh, see. Ah, 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 ah. So that's my um, German Shirt Pointer who's trying to tell me it's supper time, even though he's always early. He's always early. Um, we feed him pretty much, pretty much a set time for breakfast, lunch, and dinner he gets, and he's still early. I'm gonna go back to that bronzer. I'm gonna try this bronzer out and um, see about adding that to the outer part of my eyes. See if I can just darken up. It was a similar color, so just darken it up a little bit. But I really like that shimmer. Oh, loving it. Okay, so let's move on. I pulled, um, because I wasn't sure what colors I was going to go with or what they were going to look like, I pulled a kind of a, a purpley brown color, kind of matches my shirt. I mean, it's more of a burgundy. Um, this is Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Love Drug. And I believe this came with their, it is waterproof, it came with their cherry... Vault, I think. I think I remember that. That's what it came with. Um, so I'm just going to put that in my waterline and see. If I don't like it, I'll add some black with it. But I thought just because of what I was wearing, I would try to tie in. I'm not sure if I like that or not. All right. Let me get my little mirror here and um, see about see how that will play out. I don't know if I'm gonna like that or not. The eye color just pulled a little more orange than I was expecting. Those browns did not look that orange in the palette. So, let's see here. I don't know. Not sure what I think about that yet. I'm not sure what I think about that yet. All right. I do have a black with me. Um, just not sure. Hmm. Not sure what I want to do with that. Okay. Now, put the cap back on. So again, that one was called Love Drug, and I think it was in their Cherry Vault. I do have. Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero, which is a black. All right, I'm going to finish my eyeliner, and then I'll come back. I think I like that. Um, I did black on the top, the zero on the top, and then I went over on the bottom as well, where that love drug was. It just seemed to kind of blend that a little bit better, made it look better with the eye. I think, we're, I think it's pulling together and looking better. For mascara, I'm going to try something new. This is my... Um, 
Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I just got this one in my Alta haul. I've been seeing, I saw a lot of good stuff about it, which is why I picked it up, but then I've been seeing some iffy reviews on it saying that they get a lot of, um, uh, I don't, I guess you don't call it fallout from mascara per se, but just that it's not staying on the lashes. So we're going to see, uh, we'll give it a wear test and see how it, see what it does <laughs> and we'll go from there. Um, but I figured, eh, why not try it now? This is the brush. So you can see that that's the brush. So we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. I'm really funny on mascaras, but I thought we'll give it a try. Again, this is something that I'm going to need to look in a mirror for. So if you can give me a minute and we'll see, see what happens. I'll do one eye and then come back, do the other. I'll show you. So not bad with the brush. Some brushes I like, some I don't. That's kind of the important uh, factor for me. Sometimes more so than the formulation, as long as the formulation doesn't flake off or I end up wearing it under my eye. I definitely don't want rings under my eye. And I did get mascara on my eyelid. I'll show you a trick to take care of that. You just let it dry, come back and fix it. Just use my... I am loving that shimmer. That is so pretty. I always get my lower lashes too. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this. Uh, definitely thinner. I've been using the Milani Highly Rated and I feel like I get a fuller set of lashes. So there's where we're at so far. Let me get the other one done. Go to my mirror. Oops, get my hair out of the way. Okay, let's see here. Yes, Hudson. Hudson's my German short hair pointer. Spoiled rotten baby. So we'll, he will be six years old next month. I hear you. It's not quite time yet. Not sure how I'm feeling about this. Uh, if it's the wand or the formulation. Okay. And I do make weird faces for eyeliner and mascara. Something I'll have to work on. I think that's why some people do this stuff off camera. I tend to lean back. I know some people, everybody has their own way of putting it on. So that's where we're at with it. I generally don't wear false lashes. I do have some that are magnetic with a magnetic liner. That was my first time trying them. Uh, I think I did that back around, around Christmas, New Year's, somewhere there is when I got it. Um, I do like them. The, the set I got, I really do like, but it's just something I'm not used to. Uh, I'm usually just to uh, put my mascara on and, um, that's, you know, that's, I just, you know, I have fairly decent lashes and that's just what I generally use. So, um, I did get a little bit up here, so I'm just letting that dry and then I'll just take my brush and, 
um, my eyeshadow brush and kind of just blend that out. Not a big deal. Same thing if you ever get streaks, you know, anywhere with the mascara, just let it dry and then it'll buff right off. It, um, instead of, if you do it when it's wet, it'll streak, but if you just let it dry, then it, it should buff right out. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. Uh, I'm hoping that my setting powder will tame some of that color down <laughs> from the blush and bronzer. Um, those were just a little bit dark, but um, we'll see. I'm liking, I'm liking the eye look. I love that shimmer. Uh, very, very surprising to me <laughs> how that turned out. And then the black on top of the Love Drug color, the Zero, the black is called Zero, and then on top of Love Drug, which was the, the pinky purple brown color that I put on the bottom that matches my shirt. Um, I'm really loving how this is turning out. I wasn't sure there at first, but I really am in the camera and in the mirror. So, all right, let me get my setting powder. I use, again, this is a unique brush. This was their beachfront large brush, and I use that for my setting powder. That brush isn't uh, available anymore. They only had it for a, a season, a short period of time. This is Maybelline Lasting Fix Banana Translucent Setting Powder. And I try to just go in lightly and set under my eyes, but I'm gonna do my whole face today just because of um, how dark that bronzer and blush were. Tune that down. Oh, see, yeah, that's much better. I did go a little heavy handed with it, basically because I knew this how dark that was, but that's much better. Much, much better. Get my under eye. Yeah, that's much better. Not so in your face and bright. <laughs> I'm liking how it's turning out today. I am. Okay, so let me brush my shirt off though. I got a bunch of it on my on my shirt. Yes, Hudson, I'm coming. Couple more minutes, bud. <laughs> All right, so um, two things left, I think. Let me think a second, two things. I wanna do a little bit of highlighter and I wanna do my lips, three things. And then I'm gonna use the Butter Believe It setting spray. Stop, stop. I'm gonna use the Butter Believe It setting spray. Um, I'm gonna use some highlighter. Let's, oh, I don't know, this <laughs> This is the Butter, Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in Champagne. And I don't know <laughs> the way everything else was today. I don't know. <laughs> this could be a little crazy. Maybe I should have just quit while I'm ahead here. All right, let's see here. Let's see. Hopefully this is as pretty as the shimmer. It's not too bad, not too bad. I went a little lighter because I went heavy handed on the bronzer and the blush, so not too bad. Not too bad, all right. I think this would make a real pretty eyeshadow too. I may have to play with that. I always like a little bit on the end of my nose. Okay, not gonna go too crazy with highlighter. I don't need to glow, I'm not a unicorn. <laughs> so just a nice, nice subtle glow, I think. Picks up nice in the camera there. Okay, so then we have lips. So I used this the last time, but I'm, I used another color underneath. This time we're just going to do it, the lip pencil and the, the lip product. So this is Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in 115, totally toffee. So I'm gonna line my lips, I'm gonna do that in my mirror here. And then I'm going to be using Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in Forever. So give me a second to line my lips.
This is a really creamy formula going on. Another influencer um, recommended it and I tried it out and I like it for the most part. And uh, I like the color. I like how creamy it goes on. So now I'm gonna do this Mm. It smells sweet too. I tend to like nude colors or um, I tend to go with more on the berry end, but it depends what the rest of my look is. So yeah, kind of like that. All right, so my last thing is this setting spray. And this is Physician's Formula, Better Believe It Skin Mist. Their setting spray, I'm hoping that that has the coconut smell like the other Butter Believe It products. So we'll see. Maybe, not sure. That spray was really weird. I know it was just starting though too, but. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna work out. But you know what? I have my all nighter here just in case. Yeah, that doesn't smell, that has a weird smell to it. That is a really weird smell to it. All right, I have my all nighter, Urban Decay all nighter uh, setting spray, so I'm just gonna spray that. I know I like that and um, I know that makes my makeup last okay so I think that is it for products today for what I'm trying out so again a lot of physicians formula mostly physicians formula a little bit of urban decay a couple other products here and there and um, that's the look this is what we've got Oh, I didn't, uh, where's my brush at? Let me get that mascara. Now that I put setting spray on it. Just, there we go. All right, so that's that. All right, thank you for sticking with me this long. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you liked what you saw. I hope you're enjoying these reviews. Uh, and if you did, please subscribe, please like the video, share, that helps me out. I thank you for being here and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.